has fantastic water flow as you can see um, this is far better than what I was dealing with uh, last weekend um, I had do have it submerged but I have yet to see a problem with that uh, the water fast enough flowing over the deck nothing's jumping out of the uh, sluice so I'm all right with that um, there's the rock we were digging at last weekend too uh, this time around though um, yep and the hardware cloth is still on here we will take that off later if, um, if I get to it uh, here's the mini this is the 24 inch super mini um, I have taken the hardware cloth off of it um, and it has run pretty well we're gonna do a couple tests this morning we're gonna grab some material from over in here as you can see it's some fine gravel runoff um, see how that um, flows over the deck and then we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna run a couple of tests with this hard pack cobble um, much more bigger pieces um, and see how that flows across the deck the issue I have with these snipers and one I, this is the reason why I bought them um, is for uh, time efficiency um, with a normal 50 the 50 inch backpack sluice that I have I have the backpack sluice stand as well it takes about uh, I don't know 15 minutes to set up if I had the sluice by itself it would take about a half an hour it took me a good 20 minutes per sluice to get them dialed in just right uh, they've already been primed and um, so far from setup standpoint these these sluices surpassed the back the backpack sluice by far um, all right let's get to testing Level one as you can see it's the finer gravel um, there are little chunky pieces in there but nothing too major uh, this again this is the 24 inch mini I'm gonna take this shovel and we're just gonna toss it right on in uh, as you can see the material is kind of kind of stuck a little bit not too bad it is flowing over those grizzlies quite well I'm not really having to do much in the way of putting my hand down in there as you can see we do have a flat piece I'm gonna rinse the shovel off um, but what I am gonna do is get rid of that and voila and that's it I mean Stuff flowed over there pretty nice. One shovel full. Uh, the grate's not there. I did have the grate on it earlier. It did take a couple more seconds for the material to get over, but as of right now, not bad. Um, I don't know if you can see, there is definitely an exchange happening. So I know it's definitely working in the fluid trap. All right, let's go to test number, the same test, but the bigger sluice. Material, as you can see um, small stuff a little bit of chunky pieces every now and then this is the 36 inch sniper this definitely has the grate on it and I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in same way we did before so just a little bit little bit little bit dump 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 go ahead and wash the shovel off so now as you can see material is floating over that hardware cloth nicely everything's doing as it was about the same time frame as it took to get the material over on the other one. We have another flat rock that's kind of decided to stake its claim. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to come in here and get rid of him. And voila. So the issue, I don't think, is the great. The issue is definitely one of um, water speed, water flow. And uh, that's definitely something we didn't have last weekend. Um, but again, that material, as you can see over here too, um, that material I just put in is probably half an inch and smaller with a couple of one inch, two inch rocks. Nothing too major, nothing too large. Next test, we'll see how it does with this uh, hard pack cobble. We have the hard pack cobble. As you can see, lots of bigger pieces. A lot less more of the fines, far more of the big chunky stuff. So let's go ahead and dump that in. Uh, and because I dropped him, we'll throw him in the mix too. Uh, now we have a whole different result here. Uh, as you can see, it's taken a long time for some of these pieces to come out. I'm gonna go ahead and 
knock some of these bigger pieces out. Um, still good water flow. Uh, a lot of this stuff now is starting to move. It's taken now twice the time as it did to clear out last time around with the finer stuff. Um, we definitely have a buildup. Let's get that stuff off of the off of the uh, hardware cloth. And again, not bad. Still some big chunky pieces left in here. At the end of the day, um, it does pay to classify. But that's the point. The point of these is so that I don't have to classify. So maybe if I had some faster water, that would have kicked some of that stuff out. I'm pretty sure. I definitely feel confident about that. Um, all right, we're going to go to the next test. Same material, just the 24-inch sniper without the hardware cloth. Of material hard pack cobble nice big chunky pieces in there uh, not as much of the fine stuff 24 inch mini and go ahead and dump that in uh, so definitely a build up uh, bigger rocks they ain't moving although I don't blame it I wouldn't move either uh, <laughs> water flow just chewing right through Bigger pieces coming right off. That's nice to see some of those one and two inches just popping right off. Um, get my hand up. Clean that up a little bit. Chewed right through it. Uh, so, and that's no hardware cloth. So definitely did pretty good. Just the bigger pieces need to get out. Again, the whole point of this is so that I don't have to classify. And I really don't mind kicking out some of the bigger ones. Um, but when you're classifying down a quarter inch just to get it through a backpack sluice and then um, you know you're trucking those buckets over to the sluices themselves uh, pushing it through the sluice which takes another 15 minutes and then back over to classify your back hurts you're you're tired you're probably doing maybe six buckets um, and fully classified uh, maybe in a couple hour three hour time span here and you know as they as they're saying in the form that I'm talking in they're definitely right you should be able just to fill a bucket up and if you've got good water flow just start dumping it in but the mini and the sniper series are too narrow uh, for that to, I think uh, I could probably get away with it but I'm gonna lose material out of the side but um, at the end of the day I'm pretty uh, pretty pleased with these two sluices something I forgot to uh, say last time around is the cleanup process. Uh, it takes me maybe 30 seconds, maybe a minute to clean up a sluice, whereas the backpack sluice I had to, um, you know, loosen all of the nuts and the bolts and wash everything down and, and then uh, get it down and classify it again, 1 8, just so that I could deal with a lot of the fine gold and whatnot through a pan. Um, here these bad boys are just dip it into a you know the mini I can dip into a pan the sniper I can dip right into a um, Into a bucket and shake 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 and all the materials either in the bucket or my pan So they, they definitely save me time. They're definitely going to allow me to collect more gold um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the hardware cloth off the 36 inch and play with that for a little bit I can always put it back on if I don't like it but right now I like the mini without it. I think that's gonna be a nice little prospecting tool. I can put it on my back real fast and carry it down a creek and see what, what, where things are at. Easy setup, um, easy cleanup. Uh, I actually timed it. It was uh, 52 seconds for me to clean out the mini. Um, I have an issue, but we'll get to that in a second. This is uh, what the material looked like without the hardware cloth that came through. I definitely had uh, I definitely had pieces like this not in there last weekend. Um, it's just an, it's a nuisance more than it is anything. It's you know the hardware cloth keeps most of that out. But what I feared is actually come to fruition. I don't know if you can see that down in there, but there is a rock. Let me turn on the flash for you. So, as you can see, I've got rocks now stuck up underneath that tube. Now, this is a problem for me. 
And the reason being is, is that water comes in down through here into those tubes. These tubes have holes in them. And then the water coming in through is creating some water pressure down in there and they spray out because they're spray tubes. And that moves the fluid or, you know, that fluidizes the bed and moves the material around. We get the lighter stuff coming up and over the edge and the heavier sitting at the bottom. Well, what happens if we get too many of these sized rocks down here plugging up those tubes? Well, we decrease the water pressure. The sprayers aren't spraying because their holes are clogged up. Um, you know, I got a real big problem with that. It's one of the reasons why that hardware cloth was a, uh, a big deal to me. Now, the obvious answer I'm going to get is, well, why don't you just classify before you go in through this? And as I said before, the whole purpose of me buying this is so that I'm not bent over by a rock like that or a rock like that or over here in hard cobble, um, trying to classify down to one quarter inch, breaking my back in the process. I'm here. I want to move some material. I want to get some gold. Um, I am not out here for complete and utter exercise, although it's nice that I get it not why I'm here. So at the end of the day, that is the a definite plus in the hardware cost favor. I don't know if you can see this big iron steel pole or whatever this thing is, uh, but that tells me that um, it dropped out here. Um, I'm wondering what else is heavy over in here. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of digging and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Uh, the bucket test you can see the area I've cleaned out here it would normally if I were to classify all that and go with the quarter inch classifier and then take the bucket to the bucket the backpack sluice and then run it and do all this this would take me a couple hours hour and a half two hours just to do a little spot like that um, it's been a half an hour I've taken nine half uh, half buckets these are five gallon buckets down to the sluice and shoot them through um, I'm gonna actually walk down and show you before I put the camera up and let you see how quick this runs through. Um, so a bucket, five gallon bucket, half of the material. Uh, sluice is still running well. Uh, as you can see, plenty of material that I've run through this thing. Um, and now we're going to go test. So enjoy.
All right, so ultimately the big question is how the day end? Um, not so bad. All right, it's about 10 o'clock and um, as you can see, I've got some uh, nice black sand down in here. Definitely some BBs. Um, those are always a good sign. Found some glass earlier, which was pretty cool. Um, and there's our take for the day. So I'm very much enjoying um, Ohio today. <laughs> Definitely got some nice little, uh, nice little pieces. Uh, not really pickers yet, but yeah, it is what it is. Let's see if we can't get that to focus again. There it is. So yeah, nice little pieces. Pretty happy with that today. Uh, this was the area we dug out most of. Um, I started hitting a little bit of a clay layer, so stopped going too deep. But yeah, brought it up and around. Uh, we also did uh, some of that area down here. And again, that's where the, the uh, lighter material was down here. So that's it. That's it for the day.